Hello and happy Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, June the 5th and it's almost my birthday. We'll talk about that here in a few seconds. Uh, let me get caught up to you all, but hello and happy Sunday, everyone. Oh, thank goodness, Facebook let me have, let me, let me have you all immediately. Um, but hello and happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you, that you will come in and welcome each other and that you will say hi and hello. And if you're watching this later on YouTube, it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. Please say hello, I'd love to chat with you. I had a couple of people chatting over on ifyouhaveanegg.com this week, which was fantastic, commenting on recipes and things, which is always fun. Um, but let's see, we got a couple of people watching. We got several people here. Hello, Lisa from Arkansas. It's good to see you. Um, if you're brand new, also let us know because we would love to welcome you. And if you are brand new, this is called the Karen and I walked and almost died look because it's suddenly summer in Tennessee. Yeah, it's just all of a sudden summer. Hello, John from Home Base. Hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. It is good to see you. Um, hello, Sandra from Demon's Ferry. Hello, Carol Lou. It's good to see you. Hello, Deanna. Um, we're going to have lots of fun tonight. I literally can't walk. Um, I mean, I can walk. Like, I'm physically capable of walking. Hello, Elaine, and hello, Trish. Trish is back from Greece. Hello, it's good to see you. We have so much stuff here for the second half. Um, I have so much, well, and part of it's for the first half, but I have so much stuff here, I can barely move. And hello, Mary from Pittsburgh. There is so much, and hello, Elaine, there is so much sitting here that Dusty is literally, you know, normally his chair is way over here. And hello, Sandra from Naperville. So sorry to hear, Sandra, it was your brother-in-law, correct? So sorry to hear about that. Hello, Sherry. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Hattie. Um, normally, Dusty's way over there. He is like right up against me. And hello, Lynn. We have so much stuff to talk about tonight. Okay. So, and hello, Mary, um, hello, Mary Ann from Pennsylvania. So again, hello and happy Sunday, everybody. This is uh, June the 5th. I'm Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, this is chat number 275, and hello, Orlando Debbie. And it is titled, um, How to Find Your Why. So we're gonna jump into that in a few minutes, but I have lots and lots and lots to talk about tonight. Only have the same amount of time. Um, so we have the same 60 minutes that we have every night, and we have so much to talk about. And Debbie, I know you can't see it, but that whole top row is canned peaches. And I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but all of this, so almost every horizontal surface that we have here at Casey Kitchen Center is filled with empty jars. So my friend, um, my friend Joanna from Sunday School was so nice. She has a barn full that it, someone gave her apparently. And I know Trish, we've missed you too. She has a barn full of jars that apparently someone gave her and she needed something to do with them. And if you were here with us last week, Kendall, Lily, and I um, did successfully can peaches, but it's addictive. And Orlando Debbie can tell you, she can tell you that it is addictive. And hello, Lynette from South Carolina. Um, it's addictive to the point that uh, between Orlando Debbie and my friend Sonia here in Knoxville, they helped me find a digital electric pressure canner. And I'm, I'm making sure that I say all the words, digital electric pressure canner so that we could um, continue canning here at Casey Kitchen Center. And I bought a, a crate, I bought a crate of corn. Don't know yet if I'm gonna can that or if we're gonna freeze that, but I bought a, can of, a crate of corn. We have even more peaches. He's bringing more peaches when they, um, when they, uh, when the free stones are in. Anyway, we've got lots and lots and lots of things. And I have, I, Alyssa and I have enough peas in our garden to probably do like maybe two small cans. But anyway, okay. So we'll talk about canning here in just a few minutes. But hello and happy Sunday, everybody. I'm Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. We do have um, a free to you blog. So if, you, if you're if you new and if you've never been over there, just go to www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. If you wanna catch up on all of these videos, um, yeah, see, Gail, I know. So, uh, Gail says that frozen corn is better. I'm kind of thinking the same thing. I kind of, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. So it may be frozen corn. Um, and okay. Then y'all just, y'all just cured it for me. My mom always froze it and I knew that there was a reason. So I'm just going to go ahead and freeze the corn. But anyway, so we're going to start talking about that. Um, if you are new and you didn't know, we do have all of these videos. So we are on chat. Hello, Myra. We're on chat number 275. That means that there are more than 275 free to watch, free to listen to while you're exercising or driving. Don't watch them while you're driving, please. Um, videos to watch over on YouTube. And that is just youtube.com search if you have an egg. So I hope you will hop over there and um, look. And hello, let's see, Debbie, other Debbie is sneaking in here. Um, but we're gonna jump right in because we have a lot to talk about. And I, like this entire, if you've ever been here, if you've ever been here to visit me, and several of you have, 
Um, this island is completely full with, of stuff that we're going to talk about tonight, hopefully. So hopefully we will get to all of it. So I am going to jump right in. Hello, Marlene from Florida. Everybody continue to say hello. If I don't catch you while I'm talking, if I'm looking at things in a box that I'm getting ready to be looking in, hello, Kathy, I will try to get back to you. So today is June the 5th. Um, we do have a little bit of news um, starting the month of June. The first thing is, in case you missed it, it's still peach season. So we have been talking all things peaches um, last week, all this week. We will be talking all things peaches this week. Um, these are the last of the clean peaches, the South Carolina peaches that we got from the peach tent um, two weeks. Well, it's just a week ago. Next round, he will have freestone peaches. So it'll be peach season all over again. He's getting ready to get green beans in, corn, all those kinds of things. Okay, so we'll talk about all those kinds of farmer's market things here in just a second, but it is still peach season and we have two recipes for the second half. Um, also a little bit of news, my birthday is a week from Monday and normally I wouldn't announce my birthday, but it's double nickels. I will be 55. So I thought it would be fun if we did something for my birthday though that helps me, lets me celebrate you all. So if you would like to, um, sometime between tonight, and hello, let's see, Melanie is popping in here. Hello, Melanie. So if you would like to, sometime between um, tonight, and thank you, Cynthia, tonight, and you know, like Friday, Saturday-ish, just to make sure that it gets here in time. Um, if you want to send, um, I would love to have something about you. So it doesn't have to, you don't have to go buy a card or spend some money you know, or any, on anything. And that'd be But if you would just mail me something. So if you would mail me, you know, just a little note about yourself or a, um, let's see, what? Is Casey logged in as me? I think either Casey's logged in as me or Kendall is. I'm not sure which one, but hello, Vicki. Let's see, who did I miss? Sandra, thank you. Rita, I think I said hello to you. Hello, Vicki. Yes. Um, and to whoever is logged in as me that just said hello. Um, but if you want to send something, so like a little postcard or a postcard of the area that you live in, you know, we'd love to get postcards, something like that. Um, but just some little note about, you know, how you met me, how you know me, you know, who you are, you know, what your journey is. You know, I would love to get things like that. And then next Sunday we can celebrate you by, you know, by reading them. I would love to get something that is representative of you, if that makes any sense. And um, you can send those to Kelly Milligan, M-I-L-L-I-G-A-N, P.O. Box 10653, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37939. But again, don't go buy anything. Don't go spend money on a commercially made card. Maybe take a picture of yourself and write a note on the back or send me a postcard or just, you know, something anyway that represents you because I would love to celebrate you all next week for my birthday, for my 55th birthday. Okay, and then the last bit of news, this one's a little bit long. Pay attention. Hello, Sandy. If you are in Knox, Blunt, Anderson, Roan, or Loudoun counties. So those are all East Tennessee counties. So if you live outside of East Tennessee, you can just tune me out for a second, run to the bathroom, whatever, come right back. Um, and yeah, Cynthia, Cynthia, I'm sure somebody will do it. The zip code, Carol Lou, is 37939. And if y'all need me to repeat that, um, I will. And then of course, you know, Casey and Jessica will post that when they post the chat. Um, but if you are in East Tennessee, listen up. If you are not in East Tennessee, you can take a three minute nap, you know, whatever you want to do. I'm just kidding. This, you might find something like this in your area, but if you were in Knox County, Blunt County, Anderson County, Roan County, or Loudoun Counties, and I feel like I'm getting ready to do a you have a tornado warning in your area alert. That's what I'm doing. Okay, so we have we have news for you. So if you're in one of those counties, we have partnered with Knox Produce Box. That is these people. I did not realize that the peach tent that had been here twice at Casey Kitchen Center did not realize that they were the same people who owned the Knox Produce Box. Hello, Loretta. And um, this is such a fun service and they started this during COVID and they have continued it. Thank you very much, Carol Lou, for sharing that address. Um, but they, we have partnered with them. And if you are in one of those, it is a civil service announcement. announcement. I know it sounds just like that, Debbie. Um, but we have partnered with them to bring you in season fresh produce. So fresh in season produce in those counties. But we, you can either come to KC Kitchen Center and pick it up or you can have it delivered directly to your home. And they deliver to you again, Knox. Let's see, Knox, Blunt, Anderson, Roan, or Loudoun counties, and it's only a 99 cent delivery fee, which I don't understand how they do that. But anyway, I want to show you what's in this box. So we've partnered with them. You can get $5 off of your very first order. So if you've already been ordering from the, the produce, Knox Produce Box, sorry, you'll just have to keep enjoying it. Um, if it's your first time ordering with them and you're in one of the counties in East Tennessee that I mentioned, you can use this code at checkout and get $5 off of your first 
box. You use code KCKitchen2022. So it's where I work. K, the letter K, the letter C, K I T C H E N 2022. Um, you use that at checkout, and the, uh, the uh, website address is Knox produceboxcom K-N-O-X-P-R-O-D-U-C-E-B-O-X.com. Okay, and Jay was kind enough, from, Jay from Knox Produce Box was kind enough to bring us an XL box so that I could show you all the kind of produce that they have. Well, first of all, he brought me a watermelon that was so big I could barely pick it up. Okay, so I want to show you real quick what came in my XL box. Um, and remember, you can get $5 off of your first order, and I'll talk quick for people who are not in East Tennessee. Okay, but this is what all came in this XL Produce Box. It's ridiculous. Okay, so, and I'm going to go by heaviest first because this thing's huge. Okay, so I, I have a cantaloupe. So they, they did give me a cantaloupe. This was in my box. A pineapple. There's a pineapple in my box. And this is the XL box. They have different boxes. I had a cabbage. So I can already tell you this is not going to fit in this basket that I am trying to make it fit into. There is so much in, there's so much in this box. Okay, I'm already, I'm already like struggling to get everything in here. So the pineapple may have to sit up over here. Okay, there was a, I cheated and took this out. This is, I know this cantaloupe is huge and it's all fresh in season produce. This um, lettuce fascinates me because look, it was grown hydroponically. So John, if you are watching, I will be bringing this home. This was grown hydroponically and that fascinates me. Um, Oh my gosh, so uh, Debbie says, in honor of my birthday, I'm going to have to come there for her, for her not to do a video. Yes, Debbie, I will run right down there. Okay, and then I have, I don't know, there might be more, but here's a couple of potatoes. So here's a couple of white potatoes. I have, oh, nope, there's more potatoes. There's more. Hold on. Four. So there are four potatoes. Here's one tomato. Here's two tomatoes. Here's a couple of yellow squash. More yellow squash. A cucumber. Jay, if you're watching, I love cucumbers. You can put, always put more cucumbers in my boxes, okay? Yeah, love the cucumbers. I have an onion. So this is not all gonna fit. I have four zucchini. So here are four zucchini squash. And remember, this is fresh in season. So the next time I get a box, it might all be different. So you might get different things. And then two, two bags of like great tomatoes. Look at all that. This is a half bushel basket. So the basket that I just put all of this in is a, except for the hydroponic lettuce, which Debbie's bragging that she gets hydroponic lettuce all the time. Um, the, this is a half bushel basket that this is sitting in and it is bursting at the seams. Like John is going to have to come grab this when I get home because I don't think I can carry it. Okay, so I will attempt to put this down. Very heavy, very heavy. Okay, so if you are in one of the counties, if you're in one of the counties that I named off, you can get $5 off and you don't have to get a box that's that big. They have veggie boxes. That's an XL produce box. They've got a regular produce box. They've got a keto box. They've got a fruit box. They've got lots of other things. So anyway, it is knoxproduce.com, K-N-O-X-P-R-O-D-U-C-E.com. Um, and Jay was kind enough to bring us all of those so that we could see what it was. But if you enter the code KCKITCHEN2022 at checkout, you'll get $5 off of your first box. Okay, so that's all the news I've got for tonight. Back to WW. So this month's theme is drop an anchor. I need to know who anchored their bottom in a chair last week. So who physically put their bottom in a chair last week? Give me some thumbs ups. If you went to an in-person workshop or if you att attended a Zoom workshop, give me some thumbs ups. And if you attended here with us live last week or watched it on replay, yep, and Linda had her bottom in a green chair again. I'm serious, John and I are gonna have to find a way to get up there sometime. But anyway, hearts, hearts if you attended here with us last week um, or if you watched with us on demand. Yep, Mary's all thumbs up, Sandra's thumbs ups and hearts. Good job, everybody. Good job, Lynn's both. 
So Bravo stickers for everyone um, who attended an in-person workshop, went to a Zoom workshop, or did um, was here with us live or watched later on demand. Good job, everybody. Um, quickly, because I spent so much time talking about produce boxes and my birthday. Um, last week was chat number 274. And oh my gosh, okay. So Debbie's got all this hydroponically growing things in her dining room. We don't have a dining room in the loft, Debbie, or I would probably be doing it too. Okay, so I'll have to come and see it sometime. Um, but last week was chat number 274. Um, and we were talking about um, how to make healthy habits stick. But the month of June, the top, the whole, you know, the, the theme for the entire month of June um, is drop and anchor. So all month, we're gonna be talking about things that are, um, you know, like tried and true strategies. So there are things that, it's funny, there are things that when people go, oh, you know, if you would just do X, you know, or when I do X, it works. Or when I do this, I lose weight. Or when I do that, I'm successful. And it's things that we know. I mean, it's tried and true things. And it's things that we all, oh, look, Mary found green hearts for her meeting. And, oh, and Saturday was her birthday. Happy birthday, Mary. I'm not going to sing this time. Um, but it's things that we all know are true. And it's things that we all know. And hello, Vicki from St. Louis. Um, oh, no, she was without phone or internet service for two. How, what, how did you get by with, I mean, how did you live without phone or internet service for two weeks? Um, but it's all things that we know to do, it, you know. We all know to do these things. But anyway, so dropping an anchor, we're going to be talking about that all month this month. Last month, though, to wrap up the month of May, we were talking about how to build healthy habits that stick. Um, and we, we talked about the fact that there are just under 30 weeks until Christmas. So we've already done, we've already had another week. So now we're 29 weeks, like 29 weeks until Christmas. And it's not that I'm trying to push Christmas or anything. It's just, that's a, that's just like a, you know, a day of the year that people tend to, that and New Year's, I don't know, I, I know more people that have a countdown to Christmas than have a countdown to New Year's. So we, we tend to, you know, base everything, you know, on that, that kind of time, you know, that kind of time of year, that, you know, that week or whatever. Um, but the, the one thing that I, you know, emphasized last week to do, to, to make a habit and stick with it is to do something instead of not doing something. And you all did a fantastic job in your homework this week of not not doing things every single one of you is doing something every single one of you was actively doing something instead of not not doing something if that makes any sense so we went over some myths last week i've talked this out of the almost the first 30 minutes so i'm going to go straight to the homework but if you need to go back and see what we talked about last week you can always go to www uh, egg.com and look up the last week's chat and it's actually in a printable form so if you do better if you're better listening that's great if you're better um reading you can print it out and you can go through the notes and you can take some notes if you want to i'm a note girl i like to write things i like to write things down you know so i like the fact i like the fact that we can print it out and make some notes on it um but so last week your homework was the sticky habits club and again all of you, fantastic job. Everybody did something instead of not doing something. And I think that's extremely important. So let's check in with how a couple of you all did. Um, I did not, I did not put Deanna in this group today, but you have to go look at her journal. It's, it's fantastic. And I hope when Casey listens to this, when she is doing our video, that she will go and look at some of those. That's the kind of journaling that Casey did when she had her booktube um, channel. Anyway, I love those journals. Okay, so let's see how you did. Sherry had an interesting philosophy. She was tossing her family's science projects. They were in the fridge. I know exactly what she means, yeah. So she was tossing those science projects um, and she planned this week ahead to include leftovers and WW and Kelly approved recipes. And she is going to use sticky notes to keep her sticky habits to stay in the sticky habits club and i think that's a fantastic idea so yeah get rid of all that stuff in the refrigerator use some sticky notes find some you know some approved you know some some recipes that you'll make that are within your you know points um you know points budget i think that's a great idea sherry and then marianne got her boot off so if you remember last week we were talking about marianne's broken foot well she got her boot off this week so if you remember the broken foot lady last week that was her um, and she is going to ease her way back into walking and um, to walking in aerobics. 
her sticky habit buddies, though, I hope will be making sure that she sticks to it, but that she's not overdoing it. So, you know, I hope she eases slowly back into that because she's just getting her boot off this week. And then Cynthia's sticky habit is to get more veggies in. And we all want to get more veggies in because we get points back for them, right? So we all, plus it's good for us. And I, I think that's why they're encouraging us. That's why WW, I don't think, I know that's why WW is encouraging us to get more veggies in by giving us points for non-starchy veggies, you know, so that we can check that off. Um, and, you know, we can check that off and, um, oh, sorry, Lynn was chatting with Vicki. Um, but, you know, so we can check that off our list, but so Cynthia is, is, gonna, is including it in her, you know, in her daily, um, in her daily habit, but she wants to add some in the morning. So that's an interesting time because not a lot of people add vegetables in the morning, but so for her non-starchy vegetables, she's been making some smoothies, you know, a couple of days a week, but this morning she made a new to her recipe for balsamic glazed roasted broccoli spears. What? So all of us in her sticky club are gonna make sure that she makes that one more often because we wanna see what it looks like. I wanna see what it looks like and I would love to try that. So good job everybody who did your homework. Here are your Bravo stickers. Again, awesome job for doing something and not not doing something, okay? So good job everybody. This week though, we were talking about, so it's all about anchors. This month, the month of June is all about anchors. And this week we're talking about how to find your why. And I used to think that that was one of those I don't know, silly filler topics for WW, but the older I get, the more I realize how important it is. So we all have different reasons why we started this journey, we all, and staying, and while we're staying on this journey, um, but uh, have you put yours into words? So have you actually said out loud, you know, what your, what your why is? And if you've put your why to pen and paper, so if you've actually written it down, has it changed over time? I'm curious about that. Um, but here's how to use, you know, some techniques to anchor that, to anchor your why so that it, your why keeps you headed towards, you know, towards your goal. Whether your goal is weight loss, whether it's health, you know, whatever your why is, um, we're going we're gonna to get some, you know, some tips for how to keep it on, you know, keep it on task. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do, I want you all to pay attention to me. So I know you all have been chatting with each other and now we're, you're sharing roasted green bean recipes and things, Loretta, that sounds so good. Um, but I want you all to focus on me for just a second. Pay attention to me. Hello, Susie. You're, Susie, you're just in time. So pay attention. Look at me. So I don't want you to think about it. I just want you to just say your why out loud. I don't care where you're at. I don't care who's around you. I don't care who can hear you. I just want you to declare it. I want you to say it out loud. Just declare the reason you joined WW, no matter what it is. I want you to say it out loud. So the first time, so I'm going to say mine out loud too, because I'm here with you. So the first time I joined WW, my why was because I was 26 years old and I didn't want to be the dumpy mom. You know, I wanted to look good in my clothes and I wanted to be, you know, I was 26. I wanted to be 26, 27. I wanted to be sexy. You know, that was my, that was my first, that was my original why. Okay, now, and if your why's changed, it's okay. We're going to talk about that in a second. So now I want you to close your eyes for just a second. And I want you to see what that looks like. So, you know, if your why was to be able to fit into a pair of skinny jeans, if your why was to not have to take insulin anymore, if your why was to be able to bend down and tie your own shoes without asking somebody for help, I mean, that's a, that's a legitimate why. So I want you to close your eyes for just a second. Of course, I can't see you all what you're saying, but I want you to close your eyes for just a second and I want you to envision what that why looks like. So let's say yours was to be able to bend down and tie your shoes or shave your legs or whatever without assistance. I want you to imagine yourself doing that for just a second. Or if it was to look great in a certain dress for a high school reunion, I want you to think about that. Just, to, just envision whatever that why is that you blurted out a second ago, just envision that for just a second. Okay, and before all of us fall asleep, you can open your eyes again. And now the third thing is now own it. So whatever that why is, own it. Um, but if you already have, or if you need to, don't be afraid to change it. So mine has completely changed over the years. I mean, it has literally, so it's been 20, almost 26 years now. It has completely changed it, but this is your why. It's not anybody else's why, it's just yours. So I want you to own it. Um, but if your why changes over time, so maybe you reached your goal, or maybe circumstances change, maybe some, you know, something's different in your life, um, don't be afraid to do this exercise again and remember what your why is. So my new why, if a couple of years ago, four years ago, it was so that I could keep up with Alyssa, my four-year-old granddaughter, Alyssa. Now, 
It's so that I can keep up with Alyssa and her sister Bo. And I got to tell you, both of them want to be picked up at the same time. Both of them want to be played. Both of them want me to crawl around on the floor. So, you know, so my new why is to be flexible, healthy, and able to move and do whatever they want to do. If they want to walk, play, swim, run, not, not run like, you know, a marathon, but whatever they want to do, I want to be able to do it. And I want to be healthy for a long, 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 long time. So that's my new why. So your homework for this week, since the whole month is about anchoring, your homework for this week is anchor your why. So it's hashtag anchor your why, A-N-C-H-O-R, Y-O-U-R-W-H-Y, anchor your why. So that's your homework for this week, anchor your why. And I truly believe I'm a true believer in that you can manifest positive things. So if you will, if you will anchor, if you will anchor this and, and write it down. So put pen to paper and it can be a cute pen. It can be just a ballpoint pen. It can be a crayon. I don't care what it is, but put it down somewhere and you don't have to put it where anybody else can see it, but I want you to put it where you can see it. So if every time you open your snack bag, you put it there or every, or on your, if, if you, it's on your refrigerator, if it's on your desk drawer, let's say at work, if you just, you know, if you want to open your desk drawer and just see what your why is, thank you Lynn for posting that. Um, and you don't have to put it where other people can see it. It can just be, it can be just for you because it's your why. It's not their why. Um, but I want you to hashtag anchor your why. I want you to write it down on something. If it's a sticky note, if it's a post-it note, I mean, not post-it if it's a sticky note, if it's a, um, at some point the post-it note people are going to shut me down, you know, because I keep saying that. Anyway, um, an index card, um, a popsicle stick. I don't care. I don't really care. A rock. Put it on something, write it on something, and then put it where you can see it. But then to do, to, so to complete your homework though, either take a picture of it and post it for us so that we can see it, tag me in it, of course, so I know you did your homework, or you can just tell us what you did. So let's go to the rock idea. So let's say that you went and found a river rock and you wrote your Y on there in a permanent marker and shellacked it or whatever and put it in your fish tank. I don't know, I'm making stuff up. Whatever you did, either take a picture of it Share it with us so that we know you did your homework and remember to tag me or just type out what you did so that we know you did it and you can do that as your homework. Okay, so we're going to go ahead. Don't forget to do your homework. Do your homework, do your homework, do your homework. So we have so much to do in the second half that I'm going to go ahead and get my drink. Go ahead and put my apron on. Um, remember, if you were in one of the counties that I mentioned at the beginning of the chat, don't forget to go. You can go order your produce box um, and get $5 off of the first one. But let's go ahead and jump into the second half. And yes, Sandra, it is very much time for some water. So if you're new at the 30 minute mark of our chats, we all are going to stop. We all stop and drink some water. So I'm going to drink mine. You go ahead and drink yours. Okay, and I have a different apron for tonight. It is one that describes me exactly. A friend got this for me, and it says, if you can't read it, it says, Queen of Everything. And that does describe me exactly. So we are going to use this one tonight. Plus this one is not solid white. And since we're gonna be cutting up peaches again, um, oh, and Helen was lovely, Vicki. Thank you very much. We had, a, we had a great time and the girls were so, the girls were so well behaved. Um, and luckily we got in and out of there before the crowds got there. Um, <clears throat> Okay, well, yeah, and this one, I'm wearing this one because we are, I'm doing so much so fast with peaches that I don't want to get it all over my white apron. Okay, so this is the second half of tonight's chat, um, and this is chat number 275. This is June the 5th, and we were talking about um, anchors. So the month of June, we're going to be talking about anchoring, and we were talking about our why. Well, because my why is getting my why is, are my granddaughters, because they are getting older and because they are starting to eat more real food, um, I've decided I want to start preparing some, some more real food. Um, my mother, my grandmother, um, not her mom, interestingly enough, my, my mother's mother did not cook, can, grow a garden, nothing. She did none of that stuff. I don't know where my mother got this from. I don't know where she got that from, but I love the thought of buying things that I know where they've come from. They're, you know, if they're from actual farmers, they're, um, I don't know, just not mass produced and mass processed and they're not from overseas. Um, so I've decided to start 
processing, you know, some um, fresh produce, local produce when I can. I've been canning some things so that I can share them with the girls. So it is peach season right now. Um, I have ordered, again, thanks to my friends Orlando Debbie and my friend Sonia here in town, I have ordered an electric a digital electric pressure canner. And yes, we have checked it a million times. It does pressure can. It is not just a hot water bath canner. So it will do both. Um, but we're gonna make a couple of things tonight um, so that we can use up some more of these peaches. Um, I have a row, and I know y'all can't really see it because I didn't tilt the camera up enough, but I have a row of canned peaches there. I've got, if you wanna see how pretty they are in the jars, there are two right there. And no, Karen, I was not able to get a Presto because they were sold out. Um, I don't remember what brand I got. Debbie, do you remember what brand I ordered? I don't know. I'll show it to you. If it gets here before next week, I'll show it to you next week. Um, anyway, so we're going to do a couple more things with um, cans. My friend Joanna from church has given us so many jars. Those are not washed yet, so we will not be using them. But we're going to do two more things tonight with peaches. Um, one of them is peach freezer jam and this is the easiest freezer jam a nesco thank you debbie i got a nesco brand or i'm getting a nesco brand and i'll brand and i will tell you it was not easy to find um debbie and sonia had to walk me through it and i had to hunt and hunt and i finally found one online at kohl's no kohl's had them in stock um yeah so i had to order one okay anyway so we're going to make some first thing we're going to do is make some peach freezer jam um i already have some freezing so this is in, and Joanna, if you happen to be here, this is what I was talking about with a Super Cubes. So I already have, I made a batch earlier, and they've only been in the freezer um, for a few hours, but I'm, I'm doing some of these in the Super Cubes, and y'all heard me talk about these before, we do have these here at Casey Kitchen Center, but I'm doing some of these in the Super Cubes. This is the half cup size, so that when I want, um, I'm sorry, this is the, the cup size, the one cup size, so that when I want some freezer jam that I can just, you know, pop some out, let it thaw, you know, and not have to worry about, um, not have to worry about a jar. But you can freeze them in the jar, and that's what we're going to make um, for this half of the chat. And those will be, you know, some that I can give away. So you only need a couple of things. You need a blender or a food processor, and I'm going to be using a blender. So you either need a blender or a food processor, and again, I'm going to use a blender. You need peaches, you need fresh ripe peaches, you need lemon juice, you need some kind of sweetener, and it doesn't have to be sugar. It can be a low-cal, you know, whatever sweetener, and I'm going to use monk fruit again. And you need some kind of pectin, and I will be using, where is the little box? I told you, there is stuff everywhere here. Oh, here's the box. Okay, I'm gonna be using Mrs. Wages Sugar-Free Pectin. This is not a no-cook, so we will be cooking this, um, but that's that's really, that's all you need. So um, quickly, I'm not gonna peel these. These are already washed. You know, and we talked last week about how, um, and you're just gonna dump them in here. So. You're not gonna cut up in little bitty pieces because you're gonna let the blender do that. We talked last week about um, how to cut a peach um, horizontally um, to quickly pit it. Um, you can see how easy that is. These are these are clean peaches, so they're and I have attracted quite a little gaggle of fruit flies. Mm. Um, Jessica will be posting this recipe maybe not tomorrow, probably by. Um, I'd say probably by Tuesday because I'll because I'll have two to send her. Um, but we're just gonna quickly get and if you want to wait and do um freestone peaches, you can certainly do that. Just don't do what I almost did and throw the pit into the blender. Yeah, that would be a bad idea. So we're gonna quickly do like five peaches. You can do a little bit less, a little bit more if you want to. And this is for peach freezer jam. So this is not canned. This is going to need to stay in the freezer. Once you make this, it can stay in the it can stay in the refrigerator for up to two weeks. Um, if you you know if you want to just put some of it in the refrigerator, you can keep it in there for up to two weeks. And if you put it in the freezer, um, you can keep it in the freezer for up to um, for up to a year. Okay. Oh wow, that one looks wow. That one came out weird. It's a weird looking peach there, dude. What is going on with you? Let's see if I can get the pit out of this one. 
Okay, so the first thing we need is about four or five. Yeah, Cynthia said if I accidentally put, if you accidentally put the pit in there, you would know pretty soon because you would hear it in the, um, you'd hear it in the blender. That is exactly right. Let me try to get that one out. That one is being stingy with its pit. All right, so we've got, um, I think I did four. Let's do one more real quick. And we're, these are washed. So I've taken some of that extra fuzz off um, and they, you know, they're washed on the outside. So they're not gonna be, you know, they're washed. Let's put it that way. And we're gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the skin on because for um, peach freezer jam, it, um, oh, okay, y'all are talking about canners. So I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave the, um, I'm gonna leave the peel on because it helps with the color. And look, since this is not completely white, I can wipe my hands on here, but it does help with the color. Um, and then we're gonna put this um, on, and sorry, we're gonna make a little bit of noise. We're just gonna pulse this. If you have a food processor, you don't want it to be, you know, I mean, you can puree it if you want to, but. being fussy since this is live so let me cut these up just a little bit more they're fussing with me since we were doing this live and this stuff you don't have to be neat because these are going to be pulsed and cut up you know and cut up anyway last week too but the entire kitchen just smells like I don't know it peaches I mean it's just the most it's the most fantastic fresh smell This is not this is not completely smooth it's just it's kind of chunky and if you want it to be completely smooth if you want it to be more the consistency of like a jelly um, you can do that but this is you can hear how thick that is so that's just good and chunky okay and I'm boiling some water right now because this is not no cook pectin but while the water is boiling we're gonna add about a fourth of a cup and I'm serious, there's stuff everywhere, but apparently not a fourth of a cup. Apparently, oh, I left it over here. There are cans everywhere. I really wish y'all could see this. Like, can you see me waddling around this stuff? There are boxes in the floor. <laughs> there are boxes in the floor of jars, of mason jars, okay? Okay, so you want to do about, it doesn't have to be exactly a fourth of a cup, but you want to do about a fourth of a cup of lemon juice you do want to put lemon juice in there it is not going to make it taste like lemons and just kind of stir it around in there it's not going to make it taste like lemons that that is to keep it from um that's to keep the color the color you know going good okay so while we are waiting on the water to boil we're going to skip to the second one which is but we're going to do that also in the blender but the second recipe um is for a peach salsa so again we're just going to cut up some peaches we're going to put them back in the blender too i'll chop these up a little bit more hello marlene i'll chop these up a little bit more so that they don't get stuck in there so have y'all bought any peaches? Has anybody run out and bought some peaches because we've been talking about them so much? 
I'm just curious to know. And are you all all um, Freestone Peach Girls? I think it's all girls tonight. Freestone Peach Girls, or are you, um, we got any, we got any people like me that are brave enough to use cling peaches? And our water's just about ready to boil. So the when it's time to do the pectin for the um, freezer jam recipe, it has to be boiling hot. And here we go, it's just about boiling. So we're gonna get our peaches ready for the second one. Oh yeah, and that's right, Cynthia's waiting for the peach truck to come to Northeastern Ohio. So that's just a giant truck. That's just a giant truck that drives around, right? Yep, and Lynn's a Freestone girl, but they are not ready just yet. Yeah, so we're, yeah, we're not, we don't have any Freestones yet either. That'll be, that'll be next round. Yeah, and y'all are gonna be shocked. Well, you're not. Those of you who don't know, um, um, and yeah, Lynette, there's lots of peaches in South Carolina. That's where these came from. Those of you who have not you know, who just didn't know this about peaches, or if your store does not clearly mark them, there is a significant difference between um, clean peaches and um, and freestone. And this will go way faster when it's when it is freestone peach time. But these are so good. When Cynthia says the peach truck is a semi truck, that's so much fun. That is so much fun. Let's just get a couple more here. Ooh, that one does not want to come apart. And Marlene says she's getting peaches from the Georgia peach truck. Oh, and they'll be there on the 15th. She ordered two boxes. What does that say? You ordered two boxes and what? That one's very feisty. Let's get one of these. That one was not ready to be peach salsa. And I was really hoping that my friend Joanne from um, from Sunday school was gonna be here because Joanna, because she um, she was like, How are you how how are you gonna do this in an hour? And I said, Look, if we can't do two rest and really it's just in 30 minutes. I said, if we can't do two recipes in an hour, I'm not doing them because you know, I, I'm not I can't spend that much time. <laughs> I can't spend this much time at you know at home either. Okay, so we got the peaches in there. Um, we got the peaches in there for the next round. Um, but for this one, let's go ahead and get, um, you can't get peaches at all. You can't get peaches at all in Pennsylvania, Marianne, is that right? Okay, so that water is about boiling. So we're gonna go ahead and get this part ready. So we're gonna take a third. Now if you buy, so if you get the Mrs. Wages sugar-free pectin, don't um, don't don't throw these instructions away. Okay, so the instructions that come in here and the kind I have is the sugar-free fruit pecking, but it is not no cook. Um, but this has how to make jelly jam, freezer jam. This has all the things in it, and it talks about what to do if you're going to make freezer jam. It talks to you about how they are different. Um, oh no, Mary, you've got a. I'm so sorry about that. Maybe you can get, can y'all not get a peach truck to come? Um, but you are going to mix. Anyway, don't throw those instructions away. So you're gonna take, now that our water's boiling and I can hear it, you're gonna do a third. Now this is only for the freezer jam. This is not for the peach salsa, okay? Only the freezer jam. So for the freezer jam, you're gonna do, that was the wrong measuring cup. You are gonna do about a third of a cup and I'll just stop at about a third of a cup. You're gonna do about a third of a cup of the pectin, the sugar-free pectin, and then you're gonna do about a third of a cup of whatever sweetener you're gonna use. And I'm gonna use monk fruit. Okay, so you're gonna do about a third of a cup of both of those. And if you use regular pectin, you're gonna have to use a ton of sugar. So try to get the sugar free kind. Now this water, so this was boiling water and we're gonna add enough 
to get it wet to start with, and then just use a whisk and stir it. And then we're gonna add a little bit more. So you're probably gonna have, you know, maybe a half of a cup. You're gonna have maybe a half a cup of water. You don't have to measure it exactly. We're just trying to make sure that the pectin, we're just trying to make sure that the pectin and the sugar are good and melted. So make sure it gets good and wet. You want that to all be good and wet. So we're just gonna whisk that together. I've got a little bit trying to stick there in the bottom. You know, because it wouldn't be live TV if, you know, TV. It wouldn't be live if things didn't try to stick. And let me find something to unstick that with. So alternatively to this, if you wanted to cook your peaches with the pectin and the sugar, you could do that. Um, you, you know, you could totally do that. Okay, so. I'm gonna whisk that just a little bit more. Might need just a little bit more hot water. It's not quite dissolved. There we go. So that was about a third of a cup of pectin and about a third of a cup of whatever sweetener you're gonna use. And that was monk fruit. You could use Truvia, you could use Stevia, you could use, you know, use whatever your, whatever your um, sweetener of choice is. Okay, and that is good. Now remember, this is for the freezer jam. So we're still making freezer jam. And yes, I am thinking peach salsa on fish and chicken. I'm thinking about making pork chops or maybe making a pork loin. Um, for everybody here at Casey Kitchen Center one day this week, and then um, putting our freezer jam on there. Okay, and then you're gonna stir that in with the mixture that we just made of the peaches. Okay, you're gonna stir all that together. So now we have not quite pureed peaches. We've got, you know, kind of chunky peaches and lemon juice. So we had about five or six smaller peaches. If you um, get those giant freestone peaches, um, you don't need, you know, quite as many, but we're gonna do, um, you know, we did like five or six of the smaller peaches. We did um, about a, um, we did a fourth of a cup of, um, lemon juice and you can use fresh lemon juice if you want to you don't have to use it out of a little squeeze thing like I did and then we did um, a third of a cup of pectin of sugar free home gel pectin we did a third of a cup of that and then we did um, let's see, let me get some more in here we did a third of a cup of that and then we did um, a third of a cup of your favorite lower calories you know sweetener we did that and um yeah put together and that will be posted later this week it already tastes so good so before you put this in the freezer though what did i do with the lid i have so much stuff here people so much stuff so before you put this in the before you put this in the freezer um let it sit out and cool off um, if you want to put it in the refrigerator, you can. Um, you do. This is not. You are not canning this, so you you can use a lid like this. You can put it in any kind of a jar. It doesn't have to be a mason jar. Um, but that is what your freezer jam is going to look like. Let it completely cool off, and then you can put it in the freezer. So you might even want to put it in the refrigerator, maybe you know for an hour or so, and then put it in the freezer. And it needs to freeze for at least three or four hours, or I'm going to say overnight. And again, in the in the freezer, this will last for like a year. Okay, so that is the freezer. That's the peach freezer jam, and we will post that recipe, um, you know, here in a day or two. Um, okay, so that's the peach freezer jam, and then really quickly, let me. Move, move. I'm serious. We have so many things here. So I have in the, I now I have in the blender, I've got like, you know, four or five peaches. And then again, and then quickly, for the sake of time, and remember, you do not need the pectin for this one because we're not making jelly. We're making, we're making salsa and we're making kind of cheater salsa. So I am. Um, I do not 
I have not yet made salsa from scratch. Maybe I will try that since I'm in this canning phase, but I have not yet. I'm getting ready to cut up a jalapeno to put in here. I am not gonna recommend that you do this without protecting your hands. For some reason, what on earth? For some reason, jalapenos don't seem to bother me. I don't know why. Do you not know why I have hands of steel or whatever, but so far I have not had any problems with them. But I'm, you're literally, like these are already washed. I don't see them because I want them to be hotter. So I'm gonna just cut up a couple of jalapenos. And if you do this, please wear gloves. If you don't wear gloves, please do not touch your face. Please don't touch your face. Please don't touch your friend's face. Please don't touch your brother or your sister's face. You know, please don't do that. So I will be washing my hands just as soon as I get done with this and I will not be touching Dusty before then. So y'all can hang with me in like 10 more minutes because it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna take us 10 more minutes. So we're just cutting up a couple of fresh jalapenos to go in here. So we've already have peaches. We do not necessarily have to do the lemon juice um, in this one. I'm gonna squirt just a little bit of it in uh, just to kind of keep that, you know, that color going, but you'll see why here in just a second. Yeah, don't touch your pet's face. No, Debbie's exactly right. So I will not be touching Dusty's face. And you, I don't know if you can see or not, but I am constantly, constantly, this whole time have been wiping my hands on a um, on a wet it cloth. That doesn't even count. I will have to, I will have to wash my hands before I touch anything, including Dusty, okay? So luckily he is sound asleep, so I'll not be picking him up. I'm gonna squirt just a little bit of the lemon juice in there. And again, that's just for the coloring. That has nothing to do with flavor. We're gonna pop the lid on this and we're gonna pulse it again. Hopefully it won't take as long as the first time. Again, if you have a food processor, just use the food processor. That has to be quicker. That has to be quicker than what I'm doing. And I'm gonna use my spoon to push that down in there. Oh, nope, now Dusty's awake because I said his name. Look how pretty that's gonna be. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so pretty. And that's not even everything. is I'm going to take the peaches and the jalapenos that I just blended. And again, if you have a food processor, even better. Okay. So I'm going to take that and look how pretty this is already, look how pretty this is already looking. But to that, this is the cheater part. To that, I'm going to add two cans of any kind, any brand. So like Rotel was out across the street. So this is the Food City brand. These are diced tomatoes with green chilies, lime juice, and cilantro. So I'm gonna add two cans of that. I also do this for my um, pineapple salsa. That's already on if you have an egg.com. Um, the pineapple salsa recipe is already on there. Come on, can open them. I know people are waiting. I literally hate, hate hand can openers. And Casey was just saying the other day, she was like, I just want a can opener that works. We have the worst luck with can openers. Okay, let's try to get this open without killing myself. Okay, so this is where, so salsa, you know, has tomatoes in it. It's got, you know, some other things. You could put some corn in there if you wanted to. Um, but there is one can of Food City brand of, of Rotel. It's basically Rotel, but it is the um, diced tomatoes with green chilies, lime juice, and cilantro. 
You can use any of those that are, you know, that are, um, you know, any of those that are spicy, you know, those kind of already spicy. Or if you just want to get some fresh salsa, you can put it in there. This can opener is not going to work for me. Maybe that's what somebody should get for me for my birthday. It's a can opener. Okay, let's see if I can get it out of this without belaboring this point. We were just talking the other day. My grandmother had a, um, she refused to use an electric can opener or, you know, even a can opener like that. The one that she had was just a piece of metal with a sharp thing on the end and you went, okay. And as if this didn't already look good enough, see how pretty that's becoming? And again, if you wanted to add corn to this, you could put some black beans in it if you want to. Um, but as if, oh God, it smells so good. As if that wasn't good enough, y'all know me. And if you don't want this, you don't have to add this. But I will be adding fresh cilantro. So just having cilantro in with the, um, just having cilantro in with the tomatoes is not enough for me. I need more. I need all the cilantro. And I wish my microgreens dealer had been here, had come through this week because baby cilantro would have been fantastic. It would have been absolutely fantastic. Okay, so here we go. Let me put some in a jar so that y'all can see what this looks like. But this is peach salsa. And this recipe will be up sometime this week um, on the If You Have an Egg blog. And that is just ifyouhaveanegg.com and you will be able to go there and find this recipe and it smells so stinking good so stinking good yeah and Susie says she has the same love for cilantro so Susie and I are not those people that think it tastes like soap so if you don't like cilantro just leave it out and remember at this point don't touch your face don't get excited don't get excited because you just finished something and touch your face or your friend's face or your neighbor's face or your dog's face, you know, whatever. Um, Cause you just cut up all these jalapenos, but does that not look heavenly? Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I cannot, I cannot wait to eat this this week. Okay, I'm gonna start getting this cleaned up. I'm gonna go wash my hands so that I can actually touch myself and Dusty. Um, both of these recipes will be posted on ifyouhaveanegg.com. Um, in here in just a day or two and my gut tells me that she will post one yeah thank you Lynn I found it I did I know it was sitting like right there but there is so much stuff out I should take a picture of how much stuff is out for you all um but I hope you all enjoyed this she will get that recipe posted though both of those recipes posted as quickly as possible um again remember to mark your jars I forgot, almost forgot to mention that. So the lid for this one will say salt. Uh, the lid for this one will say freezer jam, which is very sweet. The lid for this one will say peach salsa. Okay, yeah, don't get them mixed up. That would be a bad idea. But I hope y'all enjoyed. Have a great week. And um, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and let that next video roll over because we're going to be talking about peaches in that one too. But y'all have a fantastic week, and I will talk to you next time. Good night.